we're finally at the base of Mount Sharp and we got this great three mile high mountain in front of us. And uh, we've been excited about this mountain since well before arriving at Mars because it holds the potential to read Mars history like a book. You know, layer by layer as we climb the mountain, we can access uh, different periods in Mars history and figure out uh, you know, what the environment was like and did it change from a, a, a planet friendly to life to one that was less so. You know, we're really curious to figure out what this mountain holds for us. As we've gotten to the mountain itself, it, it really is evident in, in the topography. We're going through canyons, we're going through foothills. It's some rough driving, uh, but it's spectacular. Just like when you go to the mountains on your family vacation, the scenery is amazing, you know, and the driving is tough, but uh, we're just seeing some, some spectacular geology and making some great discoveries. Curiosity was sent to Mars to figure out if Mars ever was a habitable planet. And we really uh, struck it big in our first year on Mars by finding the site Yellowknife Bay where an ancient lake once was present. Now we're climbing Mount Sharp and, and able to access other time periods in Mars' early history, hoping to see if there were other times that were equally uh, capable of supporting life. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. Time to see where our curiosity will take us.